having a nice day. I'm here to finally show you my makes for July. I've got three outfits to show you, so um, you've already seen my pattern review, um, but you haven't seen the rest. Um, so here I am in my first one, which is the shift dress made out of the fabric from Rebeths and Casales. I love how every time I have to think my way through the pronunciation of that. So this is the fabric I bought in Barcelona in June, um, and I made an ultimate shift dress out of it. It was a bog standard sleeveless, I didn't put any of the frills on, the sleeves or um, the neckline. And I'll just stand back so you can see the length. I just made the standard length that it always is and I haven't actually got it on with a belt at the moment although I think I'm going to put on a belt just a sec. Here we go. I always wear belts with shift dresses because I'm used to seeing um, sort of that kind of silhouette of being nipped in at the waist and so when I don't it always looks a bit strange. But yeah, here it is with, with a belt. I don't know, what do you think? Do I need it? Do I not need it? Sometimes nicer not to have it there because you kind of can then feel a little bit less on show plus when I sit down with the belt it does ride up a little bit so it's slightly on the short side certainly for a bare legged dress which is what this is I'm not going to be wearing tights with this because it's cotton and yeah the colours kind of not I can't imagine what colour tights I'd wear it with so yeah I'm going to definitely be wearing this in the summer so let's hope we still have a few more weeks left of hot weather and I think we do um, and yeah, I'll decide on the day, I guess, whether I'll wear a belt with it or not. But there isn't really anything to say about this. It's such a simple dress. Um, our shift dress is possibly the easiest, well, it is the easiest of our patterns. I'd say it's easier than the pencil skirt, really, because there's no zips in it. It's just going over a facing, doing a facing. And I actually did an all-in-one arm and neck hole facing for this. So uh, the pattern comes with just a neck facing, but I wanted to do uh, just the finish so that I didn't have stitching on the armhole, so I didn't want to just hem the armhole straight. So what I did is I actually traced around the top of the front and the back pattern pieces, and then just drew a kind of curve about six centimeters deep from the, um, from the neckline and from the armhole, and then I, I put in an um, all-in-one armhole facing and that was using the technique that I show in a video I'll put a link to it actually in the comments because it's um, quite a tricky technique if you're not quite sure how to do it so but yeah it means you just get a nicer slightly nicer finish on a fabric like this but it is a little bit more challenging so if you're not sure then you can just do what we say in the instructions anyways this is Meg number one and uh, where am I doing that stupid voice Make number one is done. I'm going on to make number two. And make number two, it's my black carry trousers, which I made a little bit skinnier than the pattern is. So I wanted to taper them a little bit more so they're a bit more going outy. Although I'm wearing them with a kind of non going outy leopard skin cardi um, for work. I think I'd probably wear this outfit for work. If you can see them there. So, Super comfy, super loose, such good day trousers, these. Um, and I don't know if it, you can show, see the detail a little bit more clearly when they're in the plain fabric, but um, you've got the two pleats here and the nice flat waistband. And then it gathers at the back into the wide elastic and then we've got pockets. But yeah, I really like these trousers. I feel bad that you can't see, let's move down. Here, whoop! guys um i completely lost um my new tripod there i've got a new tripod because the other one kept breaking here we are i'll just stay on here so yeah nice trousers nothing really much to report but really pleased with them and this is our um twill rayon that we have in a few colors i don't know how much of the black is left um quite a lot of it was bought after um i put it up um on the um fabric haul so i will though try and get some more back in stock because i can get more back in stock so i should be ordering some soon but i definitely recommend it as a good fabric for these trousers it's really comfy and nice to have them in a classic black Okay, the last thing to show you is my favourite. I've saved the best till last. This is the Smoke Rose um, cotton duck fabric that I wasn't sure what to do with. And if you follow my Instagram feed, you'll see that I put a little sneaky photo up yesterday of it, um, or part of it. So let me go put that on. Ta-da! 
So there I made a pleated skirt with a shift top, so a little crop top. Um, and you see the pleated skirt is the same pleated skirt that I made last um, month. It's um, that pattern that I've just adapted um, and tweaked, which I'm gonna I'm gonna get out there for you guys because it's such a good um, um, it's such a good pleated skirt. This so it's, it, I had a vintage pattern that I started with, and then I just tweaked it um, and changed the pleat width and things, um, and now um, yeah, it's my new favourite skirt pattern. And this is just our shift dress, which I have um, just made a cropped version of it. I'm a bit annoyed with myself because I made. I made these slightly smaller because they were a little bit big and now I wish they hadn't because now they're slightly tight but if I kind of smush them up like that they're better but yeah I think this is by far my favourite I'll just turn around so you can see um, and this this is what I would call a perfect work outfit I will wear it all the time to work um, you can wear it with flats you can wear it with heels and yeah it's really lovely and light and soft um, and breathable so it's not going to be too hot traveling on the tube in it so yeah i'm really pleased and obviously i can wear the two separately so i'm thinking i could wear this with um some decades of start blah, 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 blah. with some decades of start whoa with some decades of style trousers and i could also wear the skirt with a little cardi or something so i'm definitely gonna get some wear good wearage out of this outfit I'm really pleased with it so that is it for this week, that is it for this month in terms of my makes, um, so I have already started planning and putting aside my fabric for uh, next month, or rather this month, so for my August haul. I'm probably not going to do a pattern review because I'm running out of weeks anyway, um, so plus I've got something new and exciting that I want to announce um, in a couple of weeks so I probably won't be doing um, a pattern review but I did say that I'm not going to do them every month just because it's quite a lot to commit to but I will be choosing three fabrics one from my stash and I think two that we've got in our shop um, that um, yeah I've got an idea of what I'm gonna make I think I'm just there's I definitely know two of the things and it's just the last thing that I'm thinking of what else do I have to tell you had a very busy week this week so we had a photo shoot on Monday for new projects that we've got coming up which was great and then another shoot on Wednesday just doing some sort of what we call stock photos outside of Clapham things for the site things for press that kind of thing nothing new and exciting project wise but just good to get those photos done and yeah I've been just kind of Rosie's on holiday at the moment and Rosie looks after our classes and uh, wholesale so I've been helping out with that side of things and yeah staying pretty busy I'm also working on my big secret project which will be coming out in September and been tweaking that so it's the final big push for that so I cannot wait to be able to tell you guys about that um, yeah it's been a big project for this year and it's almost ready which is great Apart from that, um, you guys can't see, but I am surrounded by chaos here. Um, so we are getting our loft converted. Well, our loft is already converted, but we're getting a dormer window put in and the builders have started today. So um, fortunately they're stopping at 4, 4.30 every day. So it means I can still film, but yeah, it was mental. Poppy was barking at everybody, which is really strange because she doesn't normally bark at people that come in, but she was barking at all of the scaffolders and the builders. And yeah, it was pretty, pretty messy. And I've got bedroom furniture right here that's freaking me out because I'm someone that likes everything to be perfect and tidy and I just can't make it perfect and tidy right now. So, but at least for you guys, you think it looks all lovely and serene behind me. Um, hang on a sec, let me get Poppy so you haven't missed out on seeing her this week. Here she is. Poppy and I are sporting similar hairdos today, aren't we Pops? Do you like the smell of my lipstick, darling? Um, I've curled my hair to match Poppy. No, I didn't do it for that reason, but I'm just into curling my hair at the moment. Uh, I have the most annoying hair. It's kind of wavy, but not really enough that it looks good just left. Um, so I either have to straighten it or I have to curl it or I have to put it back. Anyway, Poppy's good. She's like been enjoying the slightly cooler temperatures this week. Um, but yeah, she's. I think she's quite pleased the builders have gone because it's stressing her out quite a lot. 
Um, by the way, I feel awful about last week's vlog about the whole onion thing. So lots of you told me afterwards, like, don't give her onion. She, um, dogs are allergic, not allergic, but it's toxic for dogs. So um, I didn't know that. I do actually know about a lot of the foods that are toxic for dogs, like raisins and grapes and chocolate, of course. But I didn't know about onions. So it's a good thing she never eats them. Um, she really doesn't like it. And I think, you know, I think I only know that from bits of onion falling on the floor and her trying to sort of pick them up and then spitting them back out again. So she seemed to know that they, she doesn't like them. But thank you so much for those of you who told me about that. Oh, should have known. I felt like a bad owner. Um, and also one thing, how are we all finding Instagram stories? Are you guys getting involved with that? Because... I am enjoying it. If you don't know what that is, if you get um, on Instagram along the top, you can now kind of Instagram Snapchat style little videos throughout the day. So I've been doing those. So if you haven't um, followed me yet and you want to see what I'm up to throughout the week, you can see that on Instagram stories as well as my normal Instagram feed. And one more social media platform. I did, forgot to tell you guys, but I've actually started tweeting as well, separately from So Over It. So, So Over It, we actually have Alex who looks after our social media on So Over It. So I don't really generally get involved with those accounts. That's not me tweeting every day, that's her. But um, I felt like I kind of wanted to tweet and there were things that were sort of sometimes not necessarily so related, but other stuff that I'm up to. So. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I shall put the link in the comments below. It's under the connect us um, And we can chat along on there. There's so many social media platforms to keep up with now <laughs> Please nobody invent another social media platform because I don't think I have the time to do it um, Yeah, it's already um, so addictive Instagram stories watching everyone's um, little video stories throughout the day um, it's swallowing up masses of time I sort of procrastinate about every I'll do some work for a couple of hours and then I'll be like oh let's have a look at Instagram stories and then I get lost down the Instagram story black hole of no return of just constantly looking at them so anyway waffle 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 I'm gonna go now I'm going out for dinner with my friend in Leighton she has got a little baby Katrina if you're watching this really looking forward to seeing you tonight um, she's got a night off so we are gonna go and enjoy some wine and enjoy some catching up and some good food I hope you all have lovely weekends and I will see you next week bye <laughs>